Hey, all, uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to uh, be um, talking about and uh, sort of painting over an older painting of mine. Um, this is just a, a portrait of an elf I did, like a little over a year ago, I think, um, in a different uh, program. I did it in, uh, in GIMP GPS. Um, and uh, now I use Photoshop, but uh, I'm just going to sort of like I said, paint over it, sort of talk about some of the decisions I made then, um, some design decisions, and some errors that I made that I'll be correcting. Um, so let's jump right into it. Um, I'll start off by uh, sort of cleaning it up. I did a really rough cut and paste um, into this Photoshop file. Um, and while I'm doing this, I'll just talk a little bit about sort of what I was going for with the design. Um, I think one of the sort of more unfortunate things that you see a lot when people are painting elves is they basically just paint um, humans with pointy ears. Um, which is kind of, I mean, it makes sense if you're designing for like a movie or whatever, because it's, it's a lot less expensive to put ears on people than it is to... Uh, you know, do anything more dramatic than that, but uh, when you're just sort of making an illustration for something that, you know, won't have to be worn by a person, um, you really have an opportunity to do a lot of more sort of creative things um, with the, the characters, um, like silhouette and uh, and you could just do uh, sort of more um, distinctive designs, which will help separate them more from from humans. Um, as since most settings that contain elves also contain humans, you want to kind of uh, separate them. Um, so uh, one of the things I often do is uh, I'm a big fan of sort of the broadening the brow the brow ridge here. Um, you know, the, the, the pointy ears, which are pretty much emblematic of the elf. Um, I also am a fan of sort of animal uh, sort of eyes, like these sort of square pupils, which are kind of like those that uh, like goats and, and, and deer have this sort of eye. So it just sort of um, connects them to those sorts of like, you know, sprightly animals and, uh, and the forest and all of that stuff. All right, so looks like I've gotten most of the worst parts of this cleaned up. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and liquefy it and push some things around um, just to correct some proportions. First of all, I think the eyes are a little bit too high. Um, so I'm just going to sort of move up the nose and mouth a little bit. Um, sort of move the chin into more of a point and sort of raise the cheekbones along with that. Um, also the ears are kind of awkwardly high I think so I'm going to just sort of pull those down a little bit. Um, and I'm just going to shrink this uh, bridge a little bit, which will also sort of make the eyes really, really big. Okay. All right, I think that'll give us a better starting point. All right, and I'm doing the same thing I was doing last week. I'm just using a, a soft round brush. Um, uh, I'm painting in grayscale um, because there's some elaborate things going on here with the armor, and um, and this just kind of lets me focus on on sort of the basic design and where light's coming from and all that stuff. Um, one of the things 
uh, I was doing a lot uh, back in my, my GIMP GPS days was uh, was using a lot of sort of heavy outlines. Um, I started most of my paintings with line drawings back then, um, and I wasn't very good at getting rid of those lines later. So there's like sort of heavy outlines. Um, also, I kind of went from like dark dark to to uh, to bright white. Like this is pretty much black, um, and that tends to not work out well when you're moving to color. It makes things look kind of uh, dirty or just a little bit strange. Um, so let me. remember where the levels are. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to sort of lighten uh, lighten up the mid-tones a little bit. Okay. And I'm just going to sort of paint out all these super dark areas. So the darkest I want to get is about there. So I'll just sort of, yeah, about 20%. Okay, so I'm just going to real quick just brush over all the dark areas uh, with that so that that is my darkest. I'm sure there's a faster way to do this, but I've forgotten how to find it. Um, and I'm recording, so this will probably be faster than me fumbling around and certainly more entertaining, hopefully. Alrighty. And then we're going to knock down these white whites. Go right there. Just gonna zoom in a little bit to uh, fix some of the facial features. Pretty much everything's in the right place. Um, I wasn't as, I guess, good at making facial features back then, so uh, some of these look kind of wrong. And I'm I'm not perfect now, but I've been practicing a lot uh, of portraits lately to try to get things hammered out a little bit better. Um, So right now I'm basically just laying in the sort of top-down lighting, um, which will form kind of a triangle um, around this area, uh, which will make the face look a little bit more feminine. Um, and the cool thing with that is that you can sort of distort that the face a lot uh, to make like fantasy creatures like elves or what have you. Um, and as long as you keep that triangle, your that triangular shape. Um, it's still gonna sort of come off as 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 a, like an attractive character or like you know a good character, pretty character, however you want to articulate that.
Um, one of the problems I have for the longest time with lips was I made like the edges of the lips like super duper like severely high contrast compared to what was around them. Um, and there are, I mean, there are reasons to do that if they're like wearing dark lipstick or something like that. Um, but most people's lips are not that different in value from the surrounding face. Um, and usually the edges are pretty soft if they're not wearing lipstick. Um, the only real like hard edge in the lips will be, um, the darkest part will be the sort of the corners of the mouth. Um, and then if the mouth is slightly open, then there'll be a dark spot in there. But um, where the skin presses against the skin, it's usually not that dark. some symmetry issues there. Most people are pretty symmetrical, but are pretty, or not quite symmetrical, um, but better symmetry makes people look more attractive. And since we're doing an elf, we'll assume it's supposed to be attractive because uh, it's one of like the features of elves in most situations is there, or, you know, the good elves at least. They're fairly attractive. Okay, uh, let me sort of reshape this jaw a little bit. I'm just sort of narrow narrowing the jaw a little bit. some of these hard outlines. And bringing in some shadows to, shadows to sort of highlight that triangular shape I mentioned earlier. All right. And now I'm just going to sort of uh, bring down the armor shapes a little bit to sort of line up a little better with the new facial geometry. Got a little bit of a shadow under the nose. cheeks, a little bit more on the nose, okay, down a little bit. All 
All right, I'll go ahead and flip it. Yeah, that's that's pretty wonky. Going to need to zoom in later to fix these eyes, but I'll go ahead and just sort of simplify for now, just so we can kind of get them in the right place. That makes sense. Excuse me. Got a bit of the allergy, so I apologize if I kind of sound a little bit under the weather. I assure you I'm, I'm fine. I'm just, uh, uh, things are blooming here. <laughs> All right, I'm just sort of bringing this down. Um, Actually, I might just go ahead and um, bring this whole headdress thing down. So that it sort of rests on the brow there. And sort of paint all that the top of the head back in. that up, sort of add the eyelashes back in, a little bit of a waterline. If you notice the eyelashes I added back in are much uh, simpler than the ones <laughs> I just painted over. Sometimes it's better to just go leave things a little bit understated. Um, it's really easy for things like that to become really distracting. Once again, just sort of reinforcing that triangle. Because I lightened that up, I think we can knock this. sort of reinforce these cheekbones, which kind of, uh, the idea is to keep the head shape kind of, kind of like this. Like this basic shape. I 
and here I'm basically just once again pulling the armor into where we move the uh, sort of crown piece. Add a little bit of stray hair. All right, go ahead and flip again. It's still kind of wonky. Let's just sort of uh, paint these eyes out and start over again. Sort of help us get everything sort of roughly the same size. Sometimes the fastest way to fix something is just to start over completely. Um, otherwise, you're just going to spend such a long time tweaking things until they're right again. Um, and you're just going to lose so much time doing that that it's faster to just uh, start over. So, and see that's already quite a bit better. Sort of. Here I'm basically just like half closing the eyelids, um, which is like just cruise control for you know making I don't know, sexy faces, I guess. Um, just have to make sure I get the right shape on both sides, um, which is not easy apparently today. It is being particularly difficult. All right. It's going to add in back in the uh, irises. Um, I know these are much larger than actual, like normal human um, eyes. Um, once again, just to kind of separate this from, from normal human proportions. All right. Like I said, uh, adding in the rectangular pupils. And adding back in the water lines. Now we're just going to shade the top half of the eye, the 
and the bottom. All right. Looks like it slides a little bit higher still. going in with this shadow and carving out the shape of the nose a little bit. Get rid of these outlines. Adding in some eyebrows. sort of evening at the top of her hair. Here's the uh, the original, um, and here's sort of where, and you can get a sort of a sense of where we're going. Um, and then after this, there's just a lot more cleanup, get rid of all these little edges, um, and then it'll be time to color it um, if I decide to go ahead and do that. All right. Um, well, thanks for watching. Um, I'll try to upload a video every week. Um, if you would like to see anything in particular, be sure to let me know in the comments. Um, and thanks for watching.